Hello everyone. Now we will move on to the topic explicit enhancement. In the previous videos, we finished with implicit enhancement. Now we will jump on to explicit enhancement. What is the difference between implicit and explicit first? Implicit, in case of implicit enhancement, we have the implicit point. It can be at start, it can be at the last of programs, function modules, subroutines, etc. And at those points, you created the implementation, means you wrote your own logic. If you remember, we have written the logic in reuse ALB grid display function module, F4 underscore file name function module. Then we took our one own program also. And in that program, we also did the implicit implementation. But it is always at the start or it can be at the last. But in case of explicit enhancement, in case of explicit enhancement, we have two things. One is point and one is section. We have two things, enhancement point and enhancement section. But they can be available at any line at the inside the SAP code. In case of implicit, it is at the top. It can be at the last Yes, but explicit, in case of explicit, we have the point and section. They can be available at any line. And at those point and sections, we will create the implementation so that we can write our logic. Yes, we will go for full explanation also. What is the difference between point and section later? But as of now, what is the difference between implicit and explicit? Implicit, or you can just go for one-liner difference if you want to understand. Implicit, you can always do at the start or it can be at the last. But explicit, you can do at any line because in case of explicit, we have the point and section. They are not restricted to start and the last it can be available at any line inside the SAP code. We'll just see one example, one program we will see so that you can understand how it looks like. Suppose this is our SAP include. In this SAP include, suppose if you want to go for implicit, how you can check implicit? Edit, enhancement operation, show implicit. So if you see at the starting SAP has not given, but at the last SAP even, this is your implicit point and you can create implicit implementation means you can write the logic. But what is explicit? It can be available at any line. If you see, we have one enhancement point. It is available on 19 number line. We have one more enhancement point available on 22 line. We have one enhancement section available on 24th number line. So is this at the start or at the last only? No, they are available at any line inside the SAP code. And we will create the implementations at those point and sections means we will write the logic there. So this is the difference between implicit and explicit. So for the best understanding, we will take a requirement or real, I'll say, we will go for two requirements. One requirement we will achieve through enhancement point. One requirement we will achieve through enhancement section. So that full difference will also cover what is the difference between point and section. We'll firstly start with the requirement. Suppose I'm going to MM01 transaction code. What is MM01? With the help of MM01, you can create a material into SAP. Suppose 
we are giving some material number. Suppose I am saying pharma M. Suppose I am creating a material pharma M. I am choosing some industry sector. I am giving some material type. I am pressing enter. I am choosing basic data one. I am giving some description. Just I am following some basic steps to create a material. I am giving unit of measurement as E. I am clicking on to save button. You can see whatever the material number you gave, SAP created that material. Now, now what customer is saying? Okay, now customer has a specific requirement. If we are creating a material through MM01 and we are passing the material number, that material number compulsory should consist of numbers from 0 to 9. Any number, but one number is compulsory. So have you seen this is a requirement given by customer? As of now, we created the material, but it does not have any number. It does not have any number from 0 to 9. These all are alphabets. But now SAP is not restricting this. SAP is saying, yes, you can create with alphabets also. But this is a dedicated requirement for the customer. So what we have to do? We have to achieve this requirement. Means with the help of MM01, Whenever customer is creating the material, if the material is not consisting of alpha, consisting of numbers from 0 to 9, we should give an error so that a material number always, always consists of number, any number from 0 to 9. Now we will see how to achieve this requirement. Whenever you are giving some material number, you are choosing industry sector and material type and you are pressing enter. We all know whenever we are pressing enter at that time, which event is calling for that particular screen process after input. So firstly, I will go to this particular screen. So how I can go to this particular screen firstly. Firstly, we will see how to go to this particular screen system status so this is the screen number on this screen number whenever you are pressing enter sap will call which particular event process after input so we will see is there any any explicit point available where we can write our logic where we can write our logic so I will check. Suppose after checking this, there is a module available internal material number cat. If I will go to this module, you can see we have a point available. We have a point available. We have a section available. So can we write our logic here? Yes, we will write our logic and we will achieve our requirement means at this particular point, at this particular point, we will write our logic. We will write our logic to achieve this particular requirement. Now, how to do this? Firstly, I will show you. Firstly, I will put a breakpoint here and I will show you how you can write a code. Then we will write the code later. I put a breakpoint into process after input of 60 screen number. I'm giving some material number. I know whenever you will press enter, SAP will call process after input. And you can see we stopped there. Now, whatever the material number you gave, it is coming into RMMG1 here in this SAP structure. This is the material which you gave from the screen. Can we check 
can we check this particular material which you are passing consist of numbers or not if it consists of number then scp will allow us to create the material if it does not consist of any number yes we will stop here itself yes so what is the summary of the topic or what we learned in this particular video in case of implicit you can go for at the start or at the last but explicit you can do at any line inside the scp code in case of explicit we have two things one is point and one is section so as of now we are covering point then we will cover section also and we will go for difference between both of them later so in the next video we will create implementation at this point and we will write the logic so that we can go for this particular requirement or we can achieve this requirement. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.